Here's our sore fingers again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for hopefully an interesting guitar lesson. This is part one of my lessons on a classic song from the Beatles and Paul McCartney called Blackbird. Standard tuning, no capos, doing the same key as uh, Blackbird by the Beatles and Paul McCartney. Okay. Uh, so this uh, song is all about um, technique. Okay. Uh, Peculiar to Paul McCartney. <laughs> okay, um, it's all about technique. So um, I'm no expert, um, but I know, I'll try and show you what I think he's doing, and hopefully you'll run with it. And the more you practice it, the more it will sound like Paul McCartney. <laughs> it does need a fair bit of practice. Okay, so um, the song basically revolves around double picks uh, with the thumb. It's all to do with the uh, plucking and strumming with one hand, this right hand in my case. Uh, you pluck with the thumb and the first finger and you strum with the first finger. Okay, And the plucks have to be dominant. Okay, So the plucks have to be what you really hear. There's a strong, you know, quite a strong definite plucks. Okay, And the strumming, which is done by the first finger, um, is a very light brushing effect. It's not really hard strumming, it's just lightly brushing the strings, okay, and it's really in the background. It doesn't it's not a dominant feature, okay? So um, let's try and get the techniques right to start with, okay? Uh, the, the, once you get the technique sorted, the actual playing of the song is not overly difficult, okay? It's all to do with the technique. So Let's do this to start with. This is um, probably the best way to show you. I'm playing the uh, the fifth string, the A string, at the tenth fret with my first finger, and I'm using my pinky to play the twelfth fret <coughs> of the B string, second string. Okay, and obviously the pluck of these of this particular shape is the thumb and the first finger. Okay. So the thumb is playing the fifth string and the first finger is plucking the second string, yeah. So there's, there's like a typical pluck, okay, nice and strong. Now this is the tricky bit is the strumming bit, okay. Strumming is done by the first finger. Now you may like to try resting uh, one of your other fingers on the body of the guitar to give you a, a support. Some people may find it easier to do it with a bit of support going on so the hand's not moving around too much yeah now the idea between on the strumming with the first finger is to brush and I say brush by meaning lightly strum very lightly strum try and target the third string the G string and the second string okay so and I'm going down down sort of flick a little flick brush like So I'm resting my thing on the body here, my finger on the body, it gives me a, a sort of a, an anchor, okay? You might find that better, if not, then just do it in floating in midair, but whichever suits you best, okay? Okay. Got the idea, so pluck, brush, pluck, brush, and try and hit that third and second strings. Very lightly, not too hard. Right, so that's the first picking pattern, plucking pattern, okay? Right, and, the, and that's used in like the intro where it goes... Uh, okay, got that? Pluck, brush, pluck, brush, pluck, brush. Single brushes, yeah? Okay. The other, the other pattern, which is slightly more difficult, uh, again using this, this uh, fretting as an example, you pluck, you pluck those two as you did before with a single brush, right? That's we'll be doing that bit, yeah. 
to just start slowly and then build up speed a bit yeah uh, and then go to the second pattern right same pluck right but this time we go down with the brush and then back up again so you brush back up this time three uh, strings so when you go down it's two, three and two when you come back up again it's starting on string two and three so it's like coming back up yeah then you hit the bass uh, so and then you hit the bass note again with your thumb that would be in, in this case the tenth fret of the fifth string so all right and when you've hit the bass note you come back up again with the brush and down again so the first time it's down and up hit the bass note and then up and down so you get this so I'll try again so do it again right so Pluck, down brush, up brush, bass note, up brush, down brush. Right. So it's a, it's, there's a lot of practice involved in this. So that's to give you sort of how it sounds, uh, sort of relatively fast. sort of thing. I'm not actually anchoring my hand now, I'm just floating it. For that when you're doing this one it's it's probably easier to not be anchored. <laughs> okay, so right. that's the idea, so it's fun. So what I'm tending to do there is actually use my hand and just keep my finger still. So rather than flick the strings, I'm trying to keep my finger still. And okay. So there we have it. So to play the intro, um, it's basically very straightforward. Um, third fret, bottom E string, unpluck together with the second string, B string open. Then you do a single brush, yeah? On that three and strings three and two. All right. All right. Then the second is the uh, pluck is the first fret of the second string, the B string, and the open fifth string together. And again, you brush, single brush on the strings three and two. Okay. Okay. Got that. play the third pluck which is the second first finger is playing the second fret of the uh, fifth string and my pinky I'm using my pinky to play the third fret of the second string pluck those two together and don't strum no strumming on that one okay so you go just practice that no strum on that one okay Pluck, strum, pluck, strum, pluck. Right, so having, if you do it very slowly and then speed it up slightly when you get to the right speed. Right, now when you've plucked that, those two together, keep it pressed and slide it up to where we were doing the practice before, 10th fret of the 5th string and 12th fret of the B string. So, so I slide it and you end up on that shape, okay? So now we've got this. Sorry. Okay. And when you go up here, you pluck those two together with the 
thumb and the first finger. So the 10th fret of the 5th and the 12th fret of the 2nd together. So now you've got the first part of the intro, yeah? Yeah? It's all in that strumming very lightly. So if you start hitting it too heavily, it just ruins it. And then when you get up here, you pluck those two together and you do the more difficult strum, right? So it's pluck, down, up, bass note, up, down. Okay, got that. And then you end up with that classic solo, um, intro, sorry. just repeat you pluck those two down up pluck the bass note up down <coughs> then you end up with and that's and then you go back down again and repeat that whole thing for the first line of the song okay Blackbird singing in a bed of the night. Okay, once again, very slow. We can't beat this for repetition. It's the only way you can learn, okay, and more practice. Blackbird singing in a bed of the night. thing is to get the, the single strums and the more difficult one. Once you've got those two sorted out the song is relatively easy okay it's just the double blocks you've got to learn fingering wise <clears throat> but it's all to do with that single strums and the multiple strums okay. lesson will be hopefully possibly finishing it off okay so there we go go and practice those two strums and uh, fingerings and uh, get used to playing that sort of style and uh, lesson two will be a lot easier thanks a lot bye for now